Hi everyone. Thank you for all the fabulous comments and thanks for appreciating my work for starting this learning series. Thank you so very much. I would like to take it ahead to a level that you guys are able to understand and create and debug and everything with the IDOC. Don't have to say that I don't know IDOC. If you followed with this series, you will be able to do everything. Not wasting much of a time, let's start. If you remember, I have explained what IDOC was. IDOC was a combination of segments. So first thing that we have to understand is an IDOC segment. I'll open the SAP screen as well. Suppose this is an IDOC that I'm taking. If you remember, I told you as a message type, it has to be there. Something as message type is there. In that message type, it, it will have status, it will have direction, whether it's coming inside, it's going outside, and it will have some partner details as well. Now, coming back to segment. This IDOC has these many segments. If you can follow my uh, cursor, I can show you that even MARAM, even MADAM, even MARAVAN, even MACTM, even MARCM, even MARCM. So these are the segments. Now, what is a segment? Segment is nothing else but a DDIC structure. We, as we create a structure, or a, uh, we can say a type in a program, it's similar to that. For my functional frames, it's a simple structure or you can understand it as a table, the one record of a table. The structure means that whatever fields we are using in that table, it comp comprises and we are creating it as a structure. So that is what uh, segment is. The transaction code to create or view or understand, edit these segments is E1, WE31. So this is a segment type. We can, over here, we can, now we have seen E1, M-A-R-A-M, right? So this is E1, M-A-R-A-M. The fields which it has are these many fields. All the fields are written over here that will have values in it through which we will be sending the data. So now you can see in even MARM it has multiple versions in it till age and it has a definition for it and where it is allowed. It is the release with 751 so this is the latest one. You can see even 30C, 40A, 45A, 46A everything is listed so your system can considers all the version it saves everything another value uh, another important thing is this release any idoc any segment cannot be used in idoc type till the time it's not released so we have to release this idoc type and then we will be able to see it in using usage of idoc type now let's see this. We will say display. So it shows all those fields which are written in that IDOC. What it is having is field name and the struct and the data element for it. So as to define. So it's similar to a structure. Suppose if I go in SE11, slash OSE11. Whatever we create over here, we can even find even M A R A M and do an F7. It will show me the structure over here as well. So segment is nothing else but a structure. See, it's written structure. It's not written as a table type. It's written as a structure. Now your question would be why can't we create a structure uh, in SE11? Why we need WE31? Why we need WE31 is an answer that I would like to give to you. Why we cannot use SE11. Suppose I create something called, I copy this. Uh, um, let's copy this and create our own. Okay, it's not allowing, letting me to copy. So might be. 
I create one more that is Z E one M A R A M and create it. See assignment let is greater than seven letters. I said okay, it's fine. So I'll give it a short description. Test. Anyways, uh, field name. I'll take the same functions, but I'll take only only these four and create it over here and then put the data element as well uh -oh. see over here we are not getting these structures over here it's putting out a data type right so let's go to slash n w e 31 you will have E1 MRM. This is for an example if you want to copy an existing one. So you can use this as an example of copying it. Okay. So here we get all the data. And I'll save it. Make it as a local object currently and then give it a that's it. It's done. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to make it a re we have to release it. So how will we release it? We will go here, go to no edit and we will set it as release. If you see the release tick mark is now this can be used over here you can see that we define the structure and that structure why we define over here so that we can release it till the time it's not released over here it's release is important not activation in our SE 11 we have to activate to use it but over here we have to release it set a release and then use it now suppose you forgot oh I need to add one more column now what do you will you create a version for it no what we can do is we can go we can edit we can cancel the release now if you see the word release is removed and we can change it how we can change it if you want to add any column Okay, now it's giving me a chance to put the or now something we can write anything, right? So I'll just put another column over here. Matkal. 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 I forgot to add that. Right. So I'll save it. Now I'll go back and I'll release it again edit set release without cancelling a release you cannot edit an IDOC similar like we have to activate then you have to again release it so that it becomes released if you have multiple version the version which would be in release structure would be used I hope this makes something clear I'll take you to my PPT so we talked about cardinality, we talked what is a segment. The next step that comes is a creation of IDOC type. Now uh, if you remember from my last video I explained that there are two things when we create an IDOC. IDOC has IDOC type and a message type. Let's show, let me show you an example. Over here, if you see now um, there are two things. One is a message type, one is a basic type. This basic type refers to actually what is IDOC type. So uh, what is a message type? Message type is a name that's given to a business attribute. Anything that refers to business attribute, MATMAS is a message type, standard message type. Let's go back to MATMAS. 
I have opened a Z1, so but we can open even now. So over here, basic type is magma 06. If you see what we had created in our system, our it has been created as Z even uh, marum triple zero. So it has created the first version. So when the releases keep on add, happening, so we keep on adding other other versions. So the version which is referred over here is a magma 06. Now this is a basic type or you can call it as an IDOC type. First, let's understand what is a message type. So this is actually, I've prepared this document, uh, this slide saying, telling you what is how we are connecting everything. So we have multiple segments. Suppose an IDOC will have a material master or a finance document. A finance document will have a major first header segment that will store that this is the document number, this is the year, this is the posting date, this is the value date. And then we will have its items that it will have this GL account to be uh, as a debit then this GL account line to be credit. So that makes our system to understand and put our records properly in our uh, any of the BAPI or any of the way we want to use it. So what is an I again the same thing that IDOC will have multiple segments and those multiple segments will be aligned to one IDOC type. That IDOC type in the end will be connected to a business message type. This is what I have tried to explain over here. Let's have a look at any IDOC type. WE30. This is an IDOC type transaction code. Now in IDOC type, let's take this IDOC type only. We have, we were watch, we were seeing which IDOC type. We were seeing any IDOC type, let's say it was mat mass 06. That was the name given to it. See, so this is the way we define that what is an IDOC type and how are my segments linked to it. So logically, if you understand, um, it can be a table. In that table, it can be multiple either records, either fields, or it can be a sub table as well. So this is what. This is the major table. IDOC type is a major table. Then it has multiple segments inside it. Each segment can have multiple segments inside it. It can be either, uh, it can be single record or it can be a multiple record. That way we represent IDOCs. This is a live example, so you can have a look into it, understand it. I am, uh, segment is nothing but a state structure, nothing else. It's a DDIC structure that we all can create, but the T code that we have to use is WE31. Then a collection of IDOC, uh, collection of segments will make it higher level. That's called IDOC type. Now that IDOC type is a structure which we can use with either we will have single, single records, header, parent, child, parent, everything we can maintain in it. And then this IDOC type, we have to use this IDOC type to a message type. Message type is something which a business understands that we will connect and then we can use our message types. Our T code for checking the IDOC is WE02. So over here we will understand how we are linking this. So I will go to slash NWE02. It is a report, simple report in which we can see the IDOCs in our system. You can give the date and everything and execute it. So here are the IDOCs. Suppose I will take again, uh, not the outbound, we will take an inbound IDOC with a mat mask. Then instead I will take you through orders IDOC. 
in order zidoc as i said in start that order will have a header that this is the order now it will have multiple line items in it what are the order items in it right so here comes this all data till edi ed edk02 this is the header data then we have e1 edp01 e1 edp01 this is item data this stores what is the item similarly so if it has multiple even edp db01 then it will be item wise now each item can have it will have uh, account assignment categories it will have multiple different data so all of them again comes in different segments now this data when come to when this id of comes to us in sap we can call our function module which is a standard function module and over there we can call the bapi to create an id this is actual use of id Thank you.